Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. Today is September 25th, 2024 and it seems that the competition in the AI world is getting intense. Namely, almost every week we see a new model or a new algorithm published by one of the big players in the AI world such as Meta, OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, etc. Just several hours ago, Meta published a new version of Llama. It is Llama 3.2. And Llama 3.2 includes small and medium-sized vision large language models and lightweight text-only models. The text-only models fit onto edge and mobile devices including pre-trained and instruction-tuned versions. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to download, install, and run text-only models on Windows and by using Olama. That is, we are going to explain how to install and run 1 billion and 3 billion parameter models. Llama 3.2 1 billion and 3 billion parameter models support context length of 128 thousand tokens and are the state of the art in their class for on device use like summarization, instruction following and rewriting tasks that are running locally at the edge. In this tutorial we will be using Olama framework to run Llama 3.2 models. In the next tutorial we will explain how to install and use Llama 3.2 models in Python. Okay, let's start. The first step is to download and install Olama. For that purpose, you need to go to the official Olama website. Then, once you're there, you need to click on download. Then you need to select your operating system. And then you need to click over here to download Olama. And the download process will start. And over here, you need to be patient since it's going to take a while to download Olama. To install Olama, go to the Downloads folder and double-click over here. And this will start the installer. Then click on Install and the installation process will start. Again, it's going to take maybe 30 to 1 minute, 30 seconds to 1 minute to install Olama. So be patient. After the installation process completes, the window will shut down. And you might be wondering, well, where is now Olama? How can I start Olama? Well, if you click over here, you will see this cute icon of Olama. And if you click here, you will see View Logs and Quit Olama. This means that Olama is running in the background. However, let's verify that Olama is properly installed. To do that, click on Start and search for Command Prompt. Then in the Command Prompt, type this, Olama, and let's see what will happen. Good. If you see this answer, that is, if you see a general description with all the option, this means that Olama is actually installed. And now we are ready to install Llama 3.2. Let's learn how to do that. Now, go back to the Olama website and click here on Models. Then over here, search for Llama 3.2 and press Enter. And you will see the model. Click on the model and over here we need to select the model. Let's start with this model, 1B. Click here and over here you will see the command that needs to be executed in the command prompt in order to download and to run Llama 3.2 with 1 billion parameters. So let's copy this command. Then let's go back to the terminal. And over here in the terminal, I'm not going to immediately execute this command. I'm going to change it a little bit. Instead of typing run, I will type pull. And let me explain you the reason for this. If I would type Olama run and then the name of the model, the model will be downloaded from the online repository and the model will be immediately executed. I don't want to do that. 
I want to first download the model and then later on I will teach you how to run the model. So let's execute this command. And over here you need to be patient. The model is around 1.3 gigabyte and it might take even one or two minutes to download it. After approximately two minutes, the model is downloaded. And to verify that the model is actually downloaded, let's type this, Olama list. This command will list all the available models that are downloaded on our computer, and we can see our model. Next. Let's download the model with 3 billion parameters. To do that, let's go back over here and let's select 3B model. Then let's copy this command and let's go back to the command prompt and let's execute this command and let's change run to pool and let's press enter. This model has 2 gigabytes and again, it's going to take one or two minutes to download it. After approximately one or two minutes, the download process is completed. Let's again type Olama list to make sure that all the models are here. They are. Next, let's learn how to run models. Let's start with the first model, that is with the smaller one. To run the model, we need to type Olama then we need to type run and over here we need to specify the name of the model and if I press enter you will see this command prompt over here and we can communicate with our model and let's compare these two models for example can you help me to learn how to code let's see this and this is super fast actually this is extremely, extremely fast. Much faster than 8 billion model that comes with Llama 3.1. Okay, let's try to do something else. Can you explain the significance of control tier? And you can see it over here. This is really good. Okay, let's exit this model. We can do it like this by typing by. And next, let's test the second model. Again, let's type llama list. And here is the model. Let's copy this name. And let's type llama run and the name of the second model. And here it is. Let's now again ask a similar question. Can you help me to learn how to code? And probably the execution of the second model is slower for maybe even half a second or something like that. However, we cannot even notice it. You will probably notice a big difference if you try to run this model on the Edge device or even on the Raspberry Pi. Then you will see the significance of having a smaller model. What is the significance of the control theory and obviously this is slower a bit slower and the answers are actually similar although they are not let's see the answer over here hmm looks similar however it's different okay so let's exit and before I conclude this tutorial let me explain a few more things let's again type olama list and let's learn how to erase models to erase models you need to type olama then rm and the name of the model let's erase this smaller model and that's it now if you type olama list you'll see that the smaller model is erased okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.